Guys, Jason here. I've got seven back mobility exercises for you. So this is a great program for if you're someone that works at a desk a lot of the day, sitting down and your back starts to get stiff and tight, um, and you don't get a lot of chance to move through the day. This can be a quick program that you can do at home um, or at the office when you get a spare 10 minutes. Um, and really good to get some movement through there and just break those patterns and help your posture out. All right, so we're gonna run through them. So the first one we've got is a child's pose, and then we're gonna go into Mackenzie's extension. So with child's pose, we're gonna start arms out straight, and then you're gonna traction against the floor, and you're slowly sitting your bum back towards your heels. So you should feel the stretch the whole way down your back. Just take a couple of breaths. Hold it there. And then what we can do is move through into the Mackenzie. So you want to move forward, get your hips on the ground, palms, and then just slowly arching your back up. So getting some extension through the spine. Just start off gentle, don't go too hard straight away. And then you can come back down. You can come up a couple of times there. This is a good one to open the abs up if you've got rounded shoulders. Good to just get a bit of extension through the back. And then we can go back into the child's pose. So again, same thing, track from the floor, sit your bum back and down. Take a couple of breaths. Let everything unwind and go with the breath. And we can move back through. Again, this time you can try to arch up that little bit further. Again, just stay within your limitations. If your back is a bit sore, just take it easy. Where if you're just feeling a bit tight, and then you can move back through again. I'll keep going through a few there. So you might go through 10 reps of doing each one here. Remembering not to hold your breath. Take nice, big inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. So for video's sake, I'm gonna move on, but if you're doing this at home, try and do 10 reps of each of those ones moving through. So the next exercise is a variation of child's pose. So this time you're gonna target more one side of the back. So whichever side you're targeting, you want to put that hand across and then we're going to sit our bum back down towards our heels. Again, you're traction in the floor and I'm feeling this down that lat there. So if you're feeling more of a pain onto one side, this will be a good one for you. And again, a couple of breaths and then this time you can change over, do both sides, sit back, Back on the floor. Get the bum back. Reach further across. Yeah, I can feel that all the way down into the lower back as well. Change over again. So we're not holding these poses for too long. With us, it's more about getting that movement through. It's not a stretch program, it's mobility. So we're trying to get some movement in there and get you out of those static postures. So again, you might do 10 reps. Or just until you feel you've eased up and got some more movement through there. So. All right, the next one is we're gonna do cat curls or cat cows, I think they're called. So this one, uh, we do this a little bit opposite to everyone else. So on the inhale through your nose, you're going to extend everything. And then on the exhale, you're gonna push all the air out your mouth and curl. The important with this exercise is we're also getting some core activation. So as you're breathing out, you're pulling your abs in and your ribs down like that. So we're getting a bit of core activation as well as movement through the back. All right, so starting hands direct down to your shoulders, knees on the hips. We're going to slowly inhale through the nose. So 
and then it's an exhale out the mouth. Push everything away from the ground, pull your abs in and your rib cage down. So we're getting that core activation as well as tucking our pelvis, so posterior tilting, so we're getting a bit of glute activation. So these muscles all get weak when you sit for long periods of time. And then we're going to do the opposite. So again, silent inhale through the nose. Extend and then hard out the mouth or with the air you've got. Abs in, ribs down, all the air. None of these. No, like you're blowing out a candle. Keep going. Should feel the abs on really hard. You're pulling in as hard as you can and pulling your ribs down as hard as you can. So again, complete 10 repetitions. For video's sake, I'm gonna move on. So the next one we've got, I'm gonna check the board, is feed the line. So you're in that similar starting position, and you're gonna get one hand, and you reach over to the other side, and then bring it out, rotate your head, and rotate up. Couple of breaths. Don't hold your breath and try and keep moving. Remember to look with your eyes as well. So you rotate your head and neck, look with your eyes, that helps to get more range. Where if you're just rotating this, you're not getting as much as you can. So rotate your head, look as far as you can the other way and even put your tongue that side of your mouth. You'll be surprised how much further you can get. Again, this is a really good one for unwinding that desk posture, unwinding those rounded shoulders, getting some length through your pecs. Again, you can do 10 reps on each side. For video's sake, I'm just going to show you the movement. This is just a sped up version, but take your time. Again, not going into pain. If you're getting pain with a certain one, don't do that exercise or try and do a variation or just don't push it as far. So if you're starting to get pain, you might just do this phase if you find this really relieves it, where if going into that extension gives you pain, then focus on that reach. All right, the next one is an open book. Now this one's targeting your mid and upper back. So, Hip and knee at 90 degrees, arms out in front, and then we're going to reach this top arm across. So take it out across your body. Remembering to exhale. So a lot of people will get here, hold their breath, and struggle and struggle, where you just need to let it all out. Hold it for, or let it go for like three breaths. Come back across. So the aim with this one, keep that D on the bolster and you should be able to get both shoulders flat on the floor. You're not always gonna do this. If this is your first time doing it, you might not get there. You might start off here and you might get to there but you're just trying to increase that mobility through your back. So again, stick with 10 reps is a good number. Both sides, I'm just gonna do one side. 
You might notice you have more range one way, you might start to do more one way than you do the other, just to try and get that, get them both even. And then the last one is more a lower and mid back variation, so it's similar movement, but this time the arm starts from the ground and you're pulling the opposite knee over, or the knee over to the opposite shoulder. You also get a little bit of a glute stretch depending on the degree of hip range you have. But from video, start at 90 and then you can start to play around with it depending on what you feel. <sighs> Same thing, remember to breathe. <sighs> and then you can vary this one, you can roll in and go through the other side. <sighs> so again, it's more that mobility rather than really just holding that static posture. <sighs> You're trying to create some mobility and movement through the back. And then we can straighten out, slowly reach up, roll across. And yeah, I can feel this one more, this part, and then down into that glute and lower back region, where the other one I felt more here and up. So, depending on where you're getting your tightness or your pain, you might prefer one of these. All right, so I hope that helped. That was just a quick mobility back program that you can do at home or at the office for if you're getting pain sitting at your desk or you're not moving around a lot during the day. This is a good program for you. Thanks, guys. See you next time.